Structure data examples for local business. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can add structured data if you're operating a local business. Now, I've created a sample. You can find it on ranker.com structured data examples URL. In fact, you can if you haven't done so, you can perhaps read through this blog post. Here I've got press here to download. It's in zip format. So let's download that file. Then let's right click and unzip it. As an extract the contents of it. And let's open this up. You can open it up in Notepad, but I'll use Dreamweaver. Okay. So this is the sample script that you can insert to your website if you're operating a local business how do you do that how do you put that in your website now i'll show you a sample client my valued client operating in canada as a local business so what we've done is we've used structured data okay so how do we do that though what you do is you log into your web hosting account, press on file manager, then browse into your themes folder, which can be found under WP hyphen content. In there, you have your themes folder. And the theme that you're using, you can find that out by logging into your WordPress dashboard, press on appearance, press on themes. You can see the active theme. So whatever name is showing up there, it's going to show that up on your web server as well. Then browse into that themes folder. There you'll have header.php file. You can right click and download. So you make a backup because that's the file you need to modify. Yeah. You could actually modify that file from your WordPress dashboard, but that is definitely not recommended. Because if something goes wrong on the dashboard, then you'll be locked out of your site. That means whatever you do, make sure you have access to your web hosting account and modify header.php file on your web server. Okay. So I'm going to use my local copy of my website, but we're going to be modifying the same file, which is called header.php. So now this is how we add structured data for local business. First, you visit schema.org local business. Now, at this moment, your local business, yes, but you should definitely check out more specific types. Let's imagine you are a which okay, let's say you're a repairman for for cars automotive business that means you're a mechanic as an example or let's say you're a lawyer if that's the case we are talking about let's say legal service let's go and see that let's imagine we're a lawyer and then we can say okay you know what our local business is a type of a legal service if that's the case for each URL you visit on schema.org, always browse through the page itself to ask yourself, okay, here we can see there's more specific types. You may be a, an attorney. If that's the case, you grab that here, right? Now, why did we do that instead of just going with local business? If there is more specific types, then you can modify additional type as, you know what, I am a local business. So now we're saying we're a type of local business. But since schema.org structured data allows us to be more specific, in this example, it says, okay, if you're an attorney, then you can put that in there. But what if you cannot see any specific types here. What if your local business doesn't fit within this category? If that's the case, 
then you are just a local business still. Then you can remove additional type. You can delete the entire line there. Okay? So, for this tutorial, I'm actually going to delete that. Now, name of business, obviously, that is your name of business. ABC business, as an example. URL is your domain. And your logo is your logo. So let's imagine you're using a logo like this or a different one. Then you simply replace the image URL there. Then describe your business. As in, you put some keywords because you're a local business, perhaps some suburb or city location is important. Simply, in a short manner, describe what your local business is offering. Then, surely change the email, price range, that will depend on the type of business you're operating. Let's imagine you do offer services as a, as a local business, but let's say you charge between $300 to $2,000 for your services. If that's the case, you simply put an additional dollar amount there, okay? But what if you are operating in United Kingdom? Then you can, okay, with currencies accepted, you can say, okay, USD, let's say AUD, simply find the currency ISO code, for UK currency, let's say, Great Britain Pound. So you can say, okay, I'm accepting not USD per se, but British Pound, so to speak, okay? So you can put that information there. Okay, in my example, Ranker works on US dollars, and most of my clients are located in US as well, so we usually use US. But currencies you take for your business when your customers pay you, you can put that information there. Payments accepted, perhaps cash, credit card, or different information, you can definitely put that in there as well. Price range can change. It's dependent on your business. Let's say someone pays you, you know what, $9 for your service. And then some other clients pay you, let's say, $99, then you change the price range accordingly, okay? So then, well, your local business obviously will definitely have a physical address. If that's the case, just go to Google Maps and type in your address into Google Maps or your business name. And then, let's say, Okay, ANZ Bank. Well, that's our URL. It has a map. So this is the location of the map, as in URL of the map goes there. Okay, has map. Same as is if you're operating perhaps a YouTube channel or a Facebook business page, then you can change that accordingly. Let's imagine you do not operate or you do not manage a Twitter profile, then simply delete that line. Okay, same as is all your online profile URLs go there. Here, this is your logo, so you can grab that URL and place that in there. The, the logo width and height, you can change it accordingly. And address details is straightforward, simply replace it with your local business address. Now, contact point is very, very important for a local business. So then, if it's a US, then we say plus one, because Google wants the country code as well. And then change the phone number. Here, contact type is customer service. But you can definitely check out whether it is local business, URL, you can check things out, look at some examples as well. 
or you can also check up Google Developer as in Google help section for structured data to see what it what is required at minimum and okay with Google you can see what is required right but that doesn't mean you can't mark up other properties from schema.org so keep that in mind just because Google you know doesn't understand certain properties doesn't mean you can't use it because there are other search engines perhaps your local business is in Russia for example then search engine Yandex is more important and it can also understand structured data make sense so therefore it may understand different things so two URLs to triple check is local business from schema.org and if you're just focusing on Google then definitely check the help section for Google to see what it wants at minimum and how it you know what for let's say um, opening hours and so on it wants this format as in text and so on make sense address details this is what it wants ID is the URL it wants an ID which is our URL okay so then contact point let's take a look at contact point coming from corporate contact so JSON LD when you use it properly then Google can build a knowledge graph for your local business and here corporate contact is that let's look at an example it's saying this is what we want but there are other examples such as that's customer service it's toll free it's technical support so if you do operate a local business with technical support phone number then you can change that customer service perhaps your phone number is not to do with customer service but it's to do with contact point now what if you do have customer service and a technical then grab as in highlight what's here copy go just underneath that line and paste and then say okay let's grab that okay the different number in that example will be technical sport so you'll have a different number for technical sport perhaps if that's the case you can then add that if you want okay so as you can see you can really really do different things all you need to do is visit Google help section as well as local business here surely rank your focuses on Google only so therefore these examples if it's appropriate for your local business then definitely check out the Google help section okay now here your address all you need to do is just type in your address you can go online and find geolocation tools for geolocation find that as we can see we've got longitude latitude so type in your address press find then you can grab latitude and longitude you can actually see that here as well with Google Maps make sense so that would be in this example I don't know and that would be let's say longitude and this number here would be latitude and so on okay so that information you can easily find online geo coordinates simply search Google now here I've got two samples here you can delete the commented ones here if your local business operates let's say Monday till Friday between 9 till 5 but let's imagine you actually do operate on the weekend as well if that's the case just delete that and paste the comment and just remove the the comment lines here here we've got Monday till Friday 9 till 5 but let's imagine you do operate on the weekend since Saturday 9 till 12 
then this is the format you would put in here. But what if you do operate seven days, then just check out Google help section for opening hour specifications. As we can see, it could be standard hours, you know, seasonal hours, perhaps your local business only operates seasonally and so on. So here you'll have your samples accordingly, okay? Now, once you make all the updates, then all you would do is grab everything here, as in copy everything, and then place it, I'll place it within the head portion. So you can place it just after the head, you can do that, or you can actually do it towards the end, which is the closing of head tag. So that would be the closing of it because it has that forward slash in the tag. Then just paste that code in here. But what if you then say to yourself, okay, you know what? I have some sort of a different setup for my local business. And the information related to your local business only shows up on About Us page, on Contact page, and so on. Okay, so let's imagine that scenario. If that's the case, what we can do is we can do something like this. After the script tag, you can put this end if, and before the script tag, you can do this. You can say if is underscore page, let's say contact us. Let's imagine that's the name of the page for WordPress. Remember, this is for WordPress, this code. And then let's just put colon there saying, you know what? Only display this script for local business on a contact page. But what if you want to display it on about us page as well? Then you put the pipe symbol above your end keyboard. Enter key above it, there's a pipe symbol. That means or operator in PHP. Then you can say or is page called about us, then do this script. So you could do this if your setup allows you. Okay, so that's for WordPress. But if you do not operate a WordPress, then you can simply grab this script and use it as it is. Okay, so I've just shown you a different scenario if your local business is set up differently perhaps okay now once you make the changes then save the file and then you would upload this to your web server remember where this file is this is the one we're modifying we've downloaded a backup we can right click and make that insertion for that code right from the web server and this is where you would do it okay but you can also do the same from dashboard theme editor if you do not see the theme editor that means your setup is perhaps using a different theme that doesn't allow you theme modifications one way or another we're modifying header.php file you could easily place that on footer if you want it makes no difference well it's it's gonna make minute difference but you shouldn't be focused on focusing on that you should be focusing on adding structured data properly for your local business. Once again, simply visit Rank Your Blog. This URL, I'll zoom in so that you see. Press here to download the sample file I made available for Rank Your Fans. Then make the changes and then modify header.php file so that your local business takes advantage of structured data as well. Once again, this video session was on top of the other examples, because when you were to combine all the structured data examples on your website, then you're definitely going to have a better optimized website. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.